hello students so this class i'm just going to show the change of position of tetrahedron projection okay so this is a one model of uh, tetrahedron here it it's having six numbers of edges 1 2 3 Four, five, six, six numbers of edges. This is also called call it as a triangular pyramid. You can call it the same tetrahedron. This is a triangular pyramid. It's not a. It's a regular one of tetrahedron. So the now question. Let us go. Week three, week five, problem number three. Week five, problem number three. A tetrahedron of forty mm sides rest with one of its edge on HV. One edge, one edge. See, one edge. Okay, one edge on HV. That means here. It is with one of edge. Okay. Uh, and perpendicular to VP, so it's kept like this. It is perpendicular. If you are seeing this as a VP, my hands are no VP. It is perpendicular to VP. Okay, the axis is perpendicular to VP. This one is vertex. Also, you can call it as apex. These are all the edges. These are all the edges. Okay. Now the triangular face is containing that the edge is inclining, inclined. Inclined at thirty degree to HP. So the triangular face. This is a triangular face. This is a triangular face or base. Okay, it is thirty degree to HP. Okay, fine. Now, as usual, let us make one reference line. How to make? Okay, I think this. This is sufficient. Let us say this is x, this is y, and this is v p, this is h p. Okay. So now four numbers of corners are available in the tetrahedron. See, one, two, three. And this apex four. So let us draw the tetrahedron simple position. Simple position. Okay, simple position. So for that, it is a base is forty mm. Let me make. Oh, who can able to see? Yeah. Here. Let me draw here. Okay. Forty mm. So there is a reason. I kept to forty mm. Like this, because this only we just going to tilt for a thirty degree, and uh, all remaining sides also forty mm. Let us measure forty mm. Okay, this point we got simply connect. Okay, now you can say this is A, B, and C. So now we need to identify the center. It's simple. This is you. It's uh, supposed to be twenty mm. We just mark. All uh, I need to identify the center. Ten, twenty mm. We come here. So I just. Uh, Mark the center of these strips. Okay, 
so that the edge is supposed to connect up to here. Okay. Okay, so I just made it small mistake. Okay, so this is center. That may be O. It's apex. CG of that particular point. Now we are at a vertical line to finish the simple position. Okay, so now we are at the axis. So axis is not required you cannot able to see because strips is there so only we need to identify the 40 mm edge here it is 40 mm see when you are seeing from this direction this direction so let it be the first diagram this direction this edge strip see from C to O will be having true length that is 40 mm here it may not be having 40 mm see from by your visibility you can able to see this portion this face cannot be 40 mm see when you are seeing from here the natural image this is base if you are keeping this only gives the true length this may be it goes to apparent so what you need to do here from this point you just measure 40 mm is axis or uh, sides height i just measured 40 mm and I intersector okay so i got that point here the apex and you connect okay this must be 40 mm finish okay now you connect the remaining part so it's nothing but this is c dash and a dash in bracket b dash and this is o dash now the simple position second diagram is over this is a first top view this one first front view this base only we just going to change for 30 degree so let us make just take one point let it be here make one angular line this is 30 degree so this is 30 degree in the sense you can measure this distances this distances you see and you can transfer so let us before that I just confirm this is a point is a dash and b dash okay So this distance I am measuring from previous diagram and I am shifting. It's very important don't directly make it 40 it will not be 40. And another one point that is apex that apex I can measure from A the distance of apex from over here I'll just keep like that also I cannot make I think okay and from here it is 40 or you can directly mark the axis okay mm. 
ओके आई गॉट द पॉइंट दैट इज ओ डैश नाउ यू कनेक्ट फाइन नाउ दिस इज सी डैश दिस इज ए बी सो ऑल द थिंग्स वी गॉट एंड यू कैन एबल टू मार्क द एक्सेस इज द एक्सेस मे नॉट रिक्वर्ड ओके okay now we erect the vertical line so now we are just going to see here so this is a third diagram you can call it as a final front view so this is 30 degree so erect a vertical line okay now we erect a horizontal line okay now you see a is here a is here so we can mark this as a1 this as b1 this as c1 this as o1 when you are seeing from top you can able to see these edges and this one you cannot able to see the b to a you cannot able to see so now i am connecting c1 to b1 here i want to this one supposed to be hidden and we can connect remaining c to o and b to b1 to o1 and a1 to o1 so this could be call it as a fourth diagram and final top view so you need not to write this final top view final front view and all you just specify 1 2 3 4 and it's very important to specify the arrows this arrow and this arrow okay this arrow and this arrow that's it so the dimensions is to also 40 you have to show this is 40 you will just show this is 40 okay thanks